Here's Mark Anderson's uh, Ford Galaxy 60, 1964 with a 352. Uh, it does have a transmission. I assume it's probably a, a uh, automatic transmission. Oh, we got with the baby shoes rather than the dice. Hey. That's a suicide now. We're not sure if it's a legal option here in Minnesota, but uh, notice the suicide knob on this Ford Galaxy. I don't think that was a factory option. <laughs> yeah, you, somebody might find out you were here, right? <laughs> Here's a 1959 Etzel station wagon uh, owned by Jim Glenn. And, uh, this car looks like it's uh, not in bad shape. Probably just drove it out. Oh, this is Jim right here, right? This is the original car. Now, did you buy this car new? I bought it about three months ago. That's why. Three it, months why ago. It looks like it does. Wow, that's really. <laughs> now, what uh, did you find it somewhere or in area? At an antique shop. Antique shop, huh? And it's sitting in the woods, and I drove by it and looked at it and went back and asked him what he wanted for it. Really. So you're not telling us what you paid for it, but it'll make you sick. What's I bet you got a great deal. Eight hundred dollars. Oh, sweet deal, sweet deal. You can turn around and sell double your money tomorrow, yeah, probably. Yeah, no, he said the transmission didn't work. Oh yeah, but he didn't know what he was talking about. I had huh? to clean, just clean, clean it, it up. up, clean yeah, up. Just take the crud out of it. And it uh, so what's your plans for this with this car? Oh, I don't know. I got to put a the, the padded dash was all shot. And otherwise, mm -hmm. the upholstery and everything is original. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow, this no, is, that's a real find. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I've got a convertible, 58 convertible also. Etzel? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Go! Oh, oh! That's, that's my, that's my dream car. Uh, I, uh, I don't, I, so are you from town here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Brad Appadell. Oh, I'm Jim Glenn. Jim? Yeah. Uh, what's your relationship with MRG? Just, I come out here and get parts for these get things. Parts? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I, uh, so then what color is your convertible? Blue. Blue and blue. white. I think I've seen it running around yeah, before. Yeah, I, I don't drive it that much. Yeah. But, uh, well, I've seen it. That's a gorgeous if car. If it hadn't been, you know, tucked in out of my hangar, well, I'd have, I'd have brought that down. Yeah. But uh, I had this handy to get, so. Yeah, well, uh, the reason I, uh, this, uh, that white 409 that's down there, mm -hmm. the Chevy, um, that's a friend of mine's car, and I, he wants to sell it to me really bad. Not really bad. I like it. I I just, I don't know, it's just one of those things, you know, you across the street, come over and says, my dad, you know, has got an Edsel convertible. Yeah. I said, does he want to sell it? And he said, well, not really. But he says, you know, he said he, he got it, uh, some, he was dickering on 10 acres of land out on the edge of Otana. Mm. And the guy kept hounding him, you know, when are you going to buy that land? When are you going to buy the land? Well, he said, you know, God, I should go look at it, you know, before I go buy it. Places. They went out this one day and looked at it, and there was an old shed down on the back of this 10 acres. And uh, says so he went down in there, and here set this Edsel in there, and it had a new TV antenna laying on the hood. It's still in the box. And just jokingly, he said, uh, I suppose, you know, that goes with it. No, he says, i got to have $30 for that TV antenna. <laughs> he didn't care about the Edsel. Is that right? <laughs> so he got, and he he did a little work on it, and then, then he. Uh, well, you've done a lot of work. You've totally restored it, haven't you? Well, I, I reupholstered it. Was about all put a new top on it. Really? Otherwise, I mean, the paint okay. is paint is original. Man, I want to see that. Yeah. I I've heard those a, a nice Edsel like that's worth a lot of money. I, I don't know. know what they're worth, you know. Well, like I, I heard each year that goes by, they're worth a little bit somebody, more. Somebody somebody told me once to find one. 